This is Chris Jenkins from the Spectrum Center where tonight the Charlotte Hornets had their fifth and final game of their longest homestand this season and that game was against the Atlanta Hawks. Now in this game the, the Charlotte Hornets started out with a very very hot Michael Kidd Gilchrist. He had six straight points for the Hornets at one point it was MKG six Atlanta Hawks five finished the first quarter <coughs> excuse me finished that first quarter strong with 10 points in the final score, well, the score at the end of that first quarter was Charlotte Hornets 30, Atlanta Hawks 26. Uh, that, that, that lead continued to build a little bit for the Charlotte Hornets as they made it to the half, leading 61 to 52. Now, I wanted to mention that Dwight Howard got a tech, and I didn't know what I wanted to say about that because his behavior, I still get mixed emotions about, but <clears throat> nevertheless, to continue on, coming out into that second half, the Hawks started playing a little bit more physical, and at one point it seemed like it was getting to the Hornets as some players were getting texts. Uh, Nicholas Batum got two fouls back-to-back, -back, got pulled out of the game, and as a result, the Hawks started to close in on this game. So you jump to the fourth quarter where they actually, they being in the Atlanta Hawks, actually tied the game and then took the lead in the fourth quarter by many points, but you know what? Michael Jordan spoke a couple days ago saying we got to keep Kimba Walker. I'm not going to trade him unless I get another all-star. And he showed why he should say that because we don't want to let Kimba go. Kimba was a Kimba that we all love to watch while all these people fill this arena every night. Led a charge by the team and not seen a spark. Kimba's basket seemed to spark the rest of the team. Next thing you know, we're seeing uh, rebounds. We're seeing blocks by Dwight Howard. And they just go to pile it on. So the final score in this game, Charlotte Hornets 110. I'm Charlotte, Atlanta Hawks 110, the Charlotte Hawks, what am I doing? The Charlotte Hornets 121. It is a Friday night. It's been a long week. Nevertheless, let me finish strong with this, all right? We ended up having six players in double figures tonight. Uh, the, with all five starters being in double figures and Jeremy Lamb also coming off the bench being in double figures. Leading scorer, no surprise, that was Kimba Walker. He finished with 29 points. Also notable to mention was Dwight Howard, who had... 18 points and 15 rebounds. So one thing that I noted is since uh, head coach Clifford returned, the Charlotte Hornets have been three and two. So a little bit over the 500 mark. Hopefully they could, you know, in this East it's been weak. If they continue to play this kind of ball, they make it slide in at that final spot in the East and, and make it to the playoffs, which would be something rewarding to see. Next up will be the Miami Heat. That'll be Saturday night, which is tomorrow. And I uh, invite you to stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, leave comments below. Don't make fun of my little stumble there at the end because I told you I'd finish strong. It's Chris Jenkins from the Spectrum Center.